Yo Yankees fans, what is up yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Let's talk about game one of the ALDS, okay? I still think the Yankees, like I said, I'm going to give a game to the Red Sox if you listened to my previous video, but they should have won this game. Let's be realistic here, folks. Hap did not show up, okay? At the beginning of the game, a lot of fans on Twitter, especially, were blaming the Yankees as a team, it wasn't their fault, but later on to the game, it was a team thing. The Yankees left too many men on base. Stanton, let's make it easier here. Name Aaron Judge your captain already. What's taking so long? The pedigree, the difference between Judge and Stanton is enormous. You can see the competitiveness running through Judge's veins. The same cannot be said about Stanton. Okay, you give him a pass, striking out with the bases loaded, swinging at balls. But his last at-bat, considering the money that he's making and is going to make, Stanton looked like a fool against Kimbrough, okay? He absolutely looked like a sitting duck. That's the difference between Judge and Stanton. Stanton went up to the plate and he looked like a sad puppy. A player that was absolutely lost in the big moment. The moment, let's not say moment, moments, because John Cole Stanton had his opportunities. This is why the Yankees acquired Stanton. This is why the Yankees went out and traded for Stanton to come up in big games like this. And to look like a sitting duck against Kimbrough and Judge blasting a solo shot and highlighting the differences between Judge and Stanton. One makes, what, $500,000 per season? 600 k something like that. And the other makes $25 million per season, going up to 35. I mean, people were bashing me when I made these videos criticizing Stanton. I mean, if you make that much money, a little criticism here and there doesn't hurt. I mean, God, I am holding back, if anything. This is why the Yankees acquired Stanton to perform in big situations. Hmm, I don't know, situations where the bases are loaded and he goes down swinging at ball four. Literally a ball almost to the ground and boom, the momentum swings back to the Red Sox favor. When the Yankees yet again had the Red Sox on the ropes. Let's not forget about the rookies. I'm not going to give a hard time to Andahor or Torres. I think Torres at one at bat should have called time. But like I said, when you're expected to perform, when you're making all that money, when you have a big old giant contract over your head, you should expect criticism to come your way. I'm sorry, I like Stanton, but really, looking at Stanton, he is not built for high-pressured situations. Hey, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Stanton has a great series, but the Yankees need Stanton. They need him to perform. If you go to my older videos, I clearly state Stanton needs to perform come playoff time because let's say if he doesn't have a good series versus the Red Sox when it really counts, there's a high possibility that the Yankees are going to ship him to L.A. this offseason. And don't tell me it can't happen. It's a high chance it will. And don't tell me John Carlos Stanton is similar to A-Rod. At least with A-Rod, he showed emotion. Stanton doesn't even break a bat. He doesn't show anger. He doesn't show anything. He was a sitting duck that last at bat. Sitting duck. Absolutely, you could just see the difference between Judge and Stanton. That's all I'm saying. I hope Stanton snaps out of it because the Yankees are really going to need him. They need him to line up price. I mean, the game versus sale was 50-50. That's why I keep pasting prices, images everywhere. Because I know for a fact the Yankees could get to price. But if they don't, series over. I still got the Yankees going 3-1. and one. I think the Yankees still have a better team. Obviously, they exposed the Red Sox bullpen yet again. But like I said, when you have Stanton swinging at balls with the bases loaded, when you have Torres doing the same thing, but he gets a pass because he's a rookie, the Yankees need to perform with runners on base. Period. If they don't, the Yankees beat themselves tonight. Literally, they beat themselves. So if I were Red Sox fans, I wouldn't even get excited over this win. The Yankees absolutely beat themselves. Sale wasn't even at 100%.
the home plate umpire. This game was a joke. He was painting balls left and right for sale when all these pictures the uh, Red Sox were throwing out. It was a joke. The Red Sox catcher would paint it and the umpire would um, fall for it. It was an absolute joke. So yes, I'm going to say this again. If you are a Red Sox fan, don't get too happy. Game one was absolutely handed to you guys. Handed to you guys. By yes, the Yankees and the umpire. Like I said, the Red Sox do not have the better team. The Yankees do. They just need to capitalize with runners in scoring position, play solid defense, also have great performances or legit performances by their starting pitching. And that's it. Hap didn't show up tonight. Period. He took us out of the game early. The momentum swung to the Red Sox direction when Benintendi hit a ball past the shift. If you ask me, that's what messed up the Yankees. And then J.D. Martinez hit that three-run blast. But after that, it was easy peasy. The Yankees' bullpen shut the Red Sox down. And expect that again. Don't count the Yankees out. I just want Stanton to perform and live up to his contract. You cannot sign a contract that large and don't expect criticism when it counts the most. That's all I'm saying. Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I still think the Yankees go 3-1 this series. What do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.